Well, in all walks of life, mental health has been a big concern during and after the pandemic. Veterans already had a high incident rate of depression and suicide. But there has been some progress made in prevention. Dan Cummins reporting tonight, it cannot save everyone, though. Jeff, I can tell you veteran suicides peaked nationally in 2018, nearly 6,800 deaths, about 22 a day. But the numbers are going down, even through and after a pandemic. That came too late for a friend of mine, a Marine veteran of Fallujah in Iraq. Gavin Smith took his life a year ago. Successful investment banker, worked for several nonprofits, including Flag City Honor Flight, and a recipient of the 20 Under 40 Award. Thanks to being around people, his PTSD was under control until the pandemic. Here's his wife, Erin. And when COVID happened and all those events stopped, that was a huge change for him mentally. Um, not being able to be at all those things and giving his time, that's how he dealt with things. Gavin Smith had a beautiful family, wife and two young kids. He'd enlisted after 9-11, served two tours in Iraq. Survivor's guilt from the Battle of Fallujah was a real problem. The fall of 2020, the depression got worse on a trip back east. Family vacation, us as a family, but he was also going to present a Gold Star mom, somebody he served with, um, with the Gold Star for his friend. Um, and that definitely that, that was for sure a trigger for him. I think it was something he needed to do internally, um, but I don't think he was ready with what emotions would come from that. November 2021, Fallujah claimed another victim. Gavin Smith was gone at the age of 39. The VA knew COVID would be a problem for veterans, so they were forced to adapt, use different tools like reaching out online, doing interventions earlier in the process, teach veterans to manage their symptoms, get support and treatment, and it seems to be working. Patrick Cotton, who treats for mental health at the VA, retired military, just different from civilians. Um, it's kind of old habit to, you know, do the mission, complete your objective, follow the orders, get things done. Um, don't ask for help, you know, you don't ask for help, you suck it up, you walk it off, you get the job done. And it can be a little trickier when in civilian life, maybe it's not clear what's the next step, what is my objective. Other nonprofits have helped. Hooves uses equine therapy to teach veterans and first responders to handle stress. And Task Force 20 provides scholarships for veterans for gym memberships. They have several fundraisers through the year, a 5K Veterans Resource Fair, began six years ago by Gulf War Army veteran Jason Graven. The isolation that a lot of veterans face when they get out of the military and not having that camaraderie anymore can be very, very difficult. So getting out back into the community, off the couch, away from drugs and alcohol, ultimately is, you know, it's life-changing and life-saving in many cases. If you're a veteran who's struggling right now, call the VA locally, ask for help, or the National Suicide Hotline is dial 988. Also, there's a screening of a new film, MVP, about the winding road veterans take when the uniform comes off. That's Monday, November 21st at Maumee Indoor Theater. Reporting tonight, I'm Dan Cummins.